Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back for episode number 10. One, zero, double digits of our Super Mario Odyssey Let's Play. In the previous episode, we did just begin exploration of this lake... Mo oh, I, I forgot to even look at the brochure. But if this Lake La Mode, uh, water world, lake kingdom thing. So, the town both in and on the lake, population middling, size limited, locals lock ladies. Currency scale shaped, clothing design, industry clothing design, temperature, oh they have like their own industries, that's dope. The Dome Water Plaza, Lake La Mode, Land of Fashion. Look at this, actually look at this for a second. Look how gorgeous it is. That little, that, that, this, this thing here, right? Look how amazingly beautiful it actually is. That's insane. And then the, the zippers of mystery, Dory the Aqua- Oh, it's Dory the Aquatic Buddy. That's cool. This guy, th These guys already existed. And soaked in history. Once a spot for designers to relax and even dye cloth, this soaking pool has a rich history. Since most activity centers around the lake town- Wait, so, since most activity centers around the lake town, this is a now- an uh, this is a now a well-known fishing hole. Sorry guys, my head is a little frazzled right now, so reading that was difficult. But anyways, so we are in fact here for some more, uh, so today we're just going to be, the Brutals are still there. I hate these guys, everybody hates those guys, they look, they're honestly creepy as shit, so we're gonna check this out. Let's do this. Um, Alright, let's see. So, first things first, we do have a couple places we still need to go that we didn't get the chance to go in the ne in the previous episode. Notably, inside this dome right here. Um, yeah, let's go check it out. Our precious lock lady dress stolen, I can't believe it. So, in here, so these, these, uh, mermaids can breathe both water and air. Um, contrary to typical mermaid fashion. The shop is on the level above, and there's a roof level above that. How do you get up there? Same way you got anywhere. You go anywhere. You swim. And then... Oh, I didn't actually want any secrets just yet, but cool. Okay, thanks, parrot. Let's see. It looks like there's something hidden in here, right? Oh, or is this just a way up? Okay, that's just a convenient way up. To get this fat stack of coins. Excellent, excellent. I'm really enjoying this world, by the way. It looks beautiful. It definitely has a very Greek... Uh, Atlantis type feel to it and I didn't just notice those spikes so actually before I forget that they're there and struggle in a future episode to actually find them take possession of a fish I love that you can actually take possession of these uh, the cheap cheeps I love the cheap cheeps I have always loved the cheap cheeps they were really annoying in original Mario but like I love that you can actually take advantage, like, they just exist in this world and you take possession of them. That's so fucking cool. Look at this, it has a mustache. It's a fucking, it's a cheap cheap with a mustache. Look at this shit. <laughs> I think it's the best thing ever. Oh, what is down here? I just realized. Get out of here. Why? Um, there's gotta be something down here. So, okay, we might be actually delaying a tiny bit. Oh, good thinking. Nowhere needed. We actually might be delaying a tiny bit, uh, going to the, uh, to the Brutals after all. The, the Brutals. Going to the Brutals after all, but, like, I don't care. Uh, I'm loving this world, I'm really, really enjoying exploring it. I don't know how much story it's gonna have, because it is a very short world. Very small world, so... Okay, look, it's Captain Toad. Ah! Wait, can we not... Dude. <clears throat> Here comes the hardest voice to do out of all of them. I hate swimming! <clears throat> no. Swimming with his back like his... <clears throat> no, what is going on? Swimming with... <clears throat> I'm trying too hard, I'm trying too hard. Swimming with his backpack is tough! <clears throat> no, that's complete wrong voice. Whatever, I don't know, I'm not managing voices today, I don't know why. Swimming with his back backpack is tough, I don't even know how I made it here. Oh, but I discovered this power moon here, you can have it! Very, very off, but whatever. Of all the places, he could have chosen to set up camp. Alright, cool, so that was a power moon then. You should see the beautiful shop display on the next floor. Okay, I think I finally managed to do the mermaid voice. I could not do the toad voice to save my life though today. I do apologize for that, but anyways. 
Let's swim our way up. Oh, actually, I think there's... Is it just me? Or no, okay, that was just a, a, an optical illusion of sorts. Ah, but there is something here. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is one of those that I should have just done like this. But is there anything upwards? There is not. After the Sand Kingdom, I'm just like checking every single nook and cranny. Like, right here. Look at that. There's a door. There's a hidden door. Or a hidden little alcove. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, you found me. Very clever. You can have this reward. This as a reward. Got another power moon. Our secret little room. That sounds dirty. So this is where this dress was displayed. If you travel all the way to the Lake Kingdom, you should dress for the occasion. Ah, okay. To get into this play, we need to dress like them. So let's go buy some... Oh, I see some purple coins. Let's... Can we get them without actually going down there? I mean, I'm sure we can. There's like a little ledge here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There was a lovely luck lady dress in this display window. But that Bowser monster came and stole it. He stole our kingdom's greatest treasure. I'm not giving- I keep changing their voice. I just don't know what voice to give them. Oh, interesting. There's like a little door there. That's dope. Welcome. You've come to it at a troubling time. Okay, but the door should- the, the, this should still be open, right? Is there a hidden moon back there? I don't- it doesn't seem that way. So, welcome, Traveler. You may know that co Okay, yeah, we know this. It's fine. We have some new products in. Yeah, let's buy your moon, first things first. Oh, it's always a Crazy Cap store, wherever you go. So Crazy Cap is the franchise. Interesting. <laughs> Crazy Cap, it's kind of like uh, a H&M, I guess. Wherever you go, it exists. Um, let's buy the clothes while we can as well, because why not? Honestly, I'm gonna buy the heart. I'm kind of curious to see what this heart does. Is it just like a permanent thing that it will always be here with now? I'm assuming? Or is it like a one and done? Oh, it's probably a one and done. Okay. And then let's buy this. Let's buy all the uh, all the stuff we can for right now. So that's all the clothes we can get. But now to get into access to that other room, we actually need... How may I help you, traveler? Swim goggles, swimwear... Rubber Dory, there's- yeah, there's only 50 actually, now that I think about it, there's only 50 purple coins, so we already have the vast majority of them. Um... Is this really what we're supposed to wear? Is this really what they're gonna consider fashionable here? Fashionable? So we're gonna be wearing the swim goggles and we're gonna be wearing this. Is this actually what they're gonna consider fashionable? I thought we were gonna get dressed up like a mermaid. A sticker inspired by the Lock Lady dress. Where did the stickers go? I actually am not sure where these stickers go. Oh my god, we look so stupid. We actually look so dumb. I don't like this. Oh my god, we look like a duck. We look like a fucking duck. Can we even triple jump? We can. We should not- it does not look like we should be able to triple jump. Okay, so can we make it in now? You'll have to dress like a swimmer. Trevor, you look ready to swim. Okay. Okay, let's check this out then, I guess. Oh, it gives us actual access to the actual display, so now I guess... Yeah, there we go. Time for another moon. Cool. Wow, how many moons do we have already? I feel like we have most of them. I feel undressed. That's a very good... That's a very, very good name, actually. I, I enjoy that a lot. Oh. I thought my remote was shaking. Never mind. God, the, the music is so reminiscent of original Waterworld music. They've actually really done that well. Um... It's just different. It's actually very different even, but it's just close enough that it, it feels nostalgic. I like it a lot. I really, really enjoy it. 13 of 33, which are is actually going to be 25, I suspect, moons. So, we already have over half the moons in this place. That's awesome. That's actually awesome. Because, I mean, I remember how much trouble it was the first time around, so... How the fuck did we make it up? I guess this way? 
I remember how much trouble it was, The not in the first time around, I mean like, when we were playing um, for the Sand Kingdom. It was so annoying, honestly. I, by the end, it was just wasn't really even fun anymore, so... Yeah, we've activated this P-Switch. Let's, uh, I guess I forgot, I didn't actually even notice these. The first time I came around here, but... Ah, uh, yeah, one of them had to be like this, right? And of course I didn't do it right. Cool! Yeah, I was about to say, I f that looks like a ceiling. Anything over here? Oh, was that a hidden block? Aha! Hidden blocks and hidden health. Nice. Alright, so now that this is open, we can uh, take the elevator up. Nice and convenient, nice and useful. And what happens if we press this P-switch? Oh, it lowers that, making it easier to- I should have just done that last episode. Making it easier now to get back up here. Interesting and good. Very, very well- good level design so far. Uh, okay. Looks like there's a moon in there, actually. Maybe? Definitely looks like there's a moon in this top one. Yeah, perfect. This is amazing. We found like- okay, so that's moon number 14 of 25 already. Wow. I'm assuming it's 14 of 25 anyways. Oh, what the hell? Can we not jump on the, uh, on this? We have to be able to. We must be able to. They wouldn't change the mechanics just based on what outfit you have on. This isn't Zelda. So, like... <laughs> they do do that in Zelda, and personally, I've, it's one of the many reasons I've always found Zelda too complicated. Like, Zelda's cool, but you really have to immerse yourself into the, wor into the world, and that's not why I put- that's just- yeah, that's just literally not why I play this game. Why I play Nintendo games, anyways. 43 of 50 coins. Aha! I mean, I know how- like, we're probably supposed to take that little twirly thing, or the long way around, get up here, but- what? I was about to say, why are you not letting me do this? Why is it not letting me? Come on. Nope, that is 100% not what I wanted to do. Dude. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely not how we're supposed to make our way up here, but... Simple and easy. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, hello. Secret hat door. <laughs> We're just finding one secret after another, huh? I did notice that there looks like something that is up there, right? So let's go. Oh, wow. Look at this floor. It's like covered in water. That's really cool, actually. Okay. Why can we make our way up here? Coins. Interesting. Is that all there is up here? That's lame. That's boring. Alright. Unless there was actually a moon. And I just didn't bother jumping. No, there wasn't. I was so expecting there would be a moon up there. To be honest. Oh, this is cool! It's like a ledge grab style of chow- Oh my god, these guys! Oh my god, those guys are in the game? What are- what even are these things? Because I always thought they were spiders, but they're very clearly not spiders. Oh god! Is this like a Pac-Man shit that they chase you? So if I go here... No, okay. These are- they're, they're really cool, whatever they are. Um, they look like spiders, but they're not spiders. I do think I know where the hidden moon is. However, because I see this ledge, and the ledge... ...cuts the corner here, so... Oh, purple coins! Not the hidden moon, but purple coins instead. 46 of 50 purple coins, might I add. We're getting really close to the end here. Of our purple coin, uh, business. On this on this uh, kingdom, which I'm so grateful for. The Sand Kingdom really left a bitter taste in my mouth. Not gonna lie. Oh no no go 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 go! Oh damn it! I was too busy fixing my hair. The Sand Kingdom really left a bitter taste in my mouth. Um, please just go. There we made it. And it's just like, thank you for not being another 69 moon level because I just was not feeling it. Oh wow, this is actually quite difficult. Cool. That's actually really interesting. Um, so what are we supposed to- how do I let go? There we go. Where is the- uh, where is gonna- the hidden moon gonna be, though? I guess we just float around and see? This is a really interesting level design, though. I'm really enjoying this so far. Why in the water world, though? Right? I mean... It's interesting, it kind of feels like... How an insect might see the world, right? I missed one of the coins, that's really bothering me, but it's too late now to do anything about it, so I guess let's just go. Ooh! Oh, it's gonna drop, isn't- oh, it's gonna rise, okay. I thought it was gonna drop. Shit. Oh, you just straight up die. 
That's annoying. That's annoying. If you hit one of the spiders, you just straight up die. There's no recovering from it. Oh, that's actually really... Oh my god, we're back at the start. Okay, that's actually quite annoying. That's... Okay, that's so... That, that's... that's Yeah, that's infuriating, actually. So... Oh well, still a good level, but like... That was kind of unnecessary, in my opinion. Let's, um... We can just twirl right over here, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. So now we already have the purple coins. We don't need to make our way back over there. Let's be careful about these spiders so we don't kill ourselves or get ourselves killed, rather. Perfect. And then hop off. Float our way over yonder. Float our way over to this one. And then... Okay, this time we got all the coins, though. That does satisfy my OCD a little bit, not gonna lie. Alright, because I just expected this to rise faster, to be honest, than it did, so... This is not easy, though. Oh my god, this is actually quite difficult. Can we not go over to that side? We can't, it would seem. Ah, but why is it lowering itself again? Unless... There is something up top. Exactly, my, th my thoughts exactly. There we go. My thoughts exactly. Perfect. So, is this the, gonna be the secret moon? It is. Haha! -ha. God, I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at this game, made for six and seven year olds. Jump, grab, and climb, climb some more. I wouldn't even say six and seven year olds. Realistically, it's probably made for like eleven year olds. But you know, oh wait, if I'd done that right, we could have grabbed them all. Okay, well, whatever. We just missed out on a few coins there. Who care? I care. My OCD is driving me nuts. There's no way to make my yeah. There's no way I can make it back up, right? I've seen people do this. It is possible to do this. It is definitely possible to actually make- to do something like that. How do you do that? Nope. I don't know. It is- you're supposed to be able to do that. Not sure how. Anyways. We got both the uh, moons behind this secret door. Or this hat door, whatever you want to call it. Excellent. Fantastic. Spectacular. So let's keep moving. Let's keep chugga-lugging along. Maybe that was the way we were supposed to do this, to be honest. Oh no, that definitely was not. Oh god! Shit, I did not mean to fall. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I mean, we can kind of, like, make our way back over yonder, right? So it's not that bad, but like... Yeah, no, okay, actually it's totally fine. It's totally fine, just wasted a little bit of time there, it's okay. Cool, everything's been going really well so far, actually, on this world. I'm very, very, it's such a pleasant change of pace. Such a nice surprise. Kill all these guys, because they're in... Seriously, kill it. There we go. That was a little annoying, but it's fine. Okay. Water Plaza Terrace. Oh, shit. I did not expect this to happen this soon, but okay. So we're fighting this... Oh, oh, okay, it's the uh, Wario-looking guy. Not Wario, Waluigi. Or, uh, for those of you who've led Lucky- read Lucky Luke... What was the big one called? The little one was Jack, I wanna say. They're the, the Dalton brothers, right? What was the big Dalton brother called? I can't recall, but that's- that's kind of the reference I was gonna make. Oh my god, I have to give him the goofy voice, don't I? I've gotta try. Yup, 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 you're too late. We already got the Luck Lady dress. And it even matches the box's tuxedo, so no way we're giving it back. God damn you. I actually really like the way this guy looks though. I- I- oh shit. So do I have to hit it while his hat is off, I'm guessing. Oh no, okay, so what am I supposed to do? Can I hit the hat back at him? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's really cool actually. What? It's it's very surprising to me that the water world is the wa is the world that they decided to. Oh, I see. Do I have to knock him into the? I could have knocked him into the, uh, on, into the edge at that point. I suspect. Oh shit! We might lose. Wait, this is actually not an easy fight, because the pattern changes up a lot. It's interesting to me that they've decided that the water world is the world that they want the. Um... Shit! I saw that coming. I actually just died to one of the Brutals. What is this nonsense? I'm trying to talk and play at the same time, which makes it a little harder, but of course I'm not... I'm not trying to make any excuses, right? Um... Yeah, so... 
it's interesting to me that the water world is the world that they decide they decided to do the um, the floaty platform gimmicks for, like the, this twirly stuff. Although to be fair, all the worlds have had twirly stuff so far, but like I feel like this one's had more than most, especially given how big it actually is, or small rather. But dude, can we not do this shit, you stupid ass rabbit? Okay, let's not get hit by the hat this time. And even if we take a hit, God, that was close. That was close. That was close. That was close. I expected it to start on the left for some reason. Why the- what? Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. And pop. Excellent. Is he following? He is, okay. God, you have to, to type shit. I can't believe I let him hit me. You actually have to time that for when he's gonna hit the ground, otherwise it's not gonna work. Alright, but this should be the final hit. I actually play that very poorly. I play that very, very poorly. These guys are not challenging. I can't believe I lost the first time around. But like... Dumb. But when he's hopping around, it's actually kind of hard to toss- to hit him into the, uh, into the edges, because you do have to time it perfectly as he hits the ground. Otherwise you're just not gonna hit him, and then you get hit yourself. Okay, well, we got this multi-moon. So, Brutals over the lake. Excellent. Excellent. So what now? What now? Oh, we get sent all the way back. That kind of sucks, because there were some purple coins I remember at the end of the previous episode we saw over there, but... I'm worried about those two. Let's get after them. So does that mean... Okay, so that's the end of this world, basically. Interesting. What is this? Take picture of hint art. Go to home, click album, okay. But we already have this one, I think. Don't we? I'm confused, honestly. Uh, okay, well, whatever. Let's try to- oh, look at that! Look at this. So there's going to be a, uh, let's just go looking for the remaining moons and powers and, uh, coins now then. What are we supposed to be doing? Oh. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. I didn't actually- I didn't know what we were supposed to be doing there. That's my bad entirely. That's my bad entirely. So you're meant to just, uh, that's actually quite a boring one. Very unenjoyable. I just didn't notice the moon at the bottom, to be honest, but very unenjoyable in my opinion. But this is- you're just meant to, like, put, like, ground pound your way down until you hit the moon. That's actually really lame. But, okay. Late Kingdom Challenge 1. So there's going to be more than one challenge. Or timer challenge. Can we get my- wait, where's my hat? Okay. Don't know why we didn't have the hat, but sure. Let's go with the fishy. Uh, let's see- oh, no, I want the fish. I want the fish. Give me the fish. There we go. Nope, go up. That's down. How do you go up again? Nope, that's down. How do you- B? Okay. Makes sense, makes sense. The button you would normally jump with, you used to go down. How about over yonder? Okay, we already have this stuff. I know- Oh, wait, no, okay. It was these, wasn't it? It was these, so we do already have those. Alright, so that begs the question, what are we missing? Oh, we already have all the purple coins! I did not realize that. Okay, so we already have all the purple coins here. End of the hidden passage. So there is a hidden patch passage we have missed. Presumably the one that was underwater. So we need to go check that out again. And then number 7, number 8, and number 11. Yeah, okay, so 25 is looking like it'll be the last one. There's- okay, there's gonna be another one in the little shopping center thing. Taking notes. And then these two- interesting. Another ch timer challenge. Okay, so we have some quite- quite a bit of exploring still to do. Good. Honestly, really good. What is up there? What is that? Oh, it's just a bird. Okay. Alright, let's uh, let's do this then. Just drop in here. Why do you still want me to get out? Did I not do the thing you wanted me to do? I'm confused. Do we have to t like take the fish somewhere weird? That would be really cool. That would actually be really cool if we just had to take the fish somewhere weird. But I'd imagine that's not the case, right? Most likely. Oh look, there's a door down there that there wasn't there before, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh, right, no, it was blocked off, right? That door was blocked off. Interesting. So I guess we can start there. Um, and see which moon it is. Oh, there's a pipe there as well. That didn't used to be there. So, okay, we have- we, no, we now know more stuff for us to do. Uh, 25 minutes into this episode, roughly, so we still have definitely time for at least this door, and probably that pipe. Oh, what the fuck? Why are these all- why are they always crying? Well, I guess they haven't gotten their dress back, actually, so it makes sense that they're still upset. I want to fix it, I really do, but it's just so heavy. Okay. So, ooh, we can take possession of the- oh! Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh my god, okay. So this is a puzzle. I love puzzles. How do you... So what are we trying to actually do here, then? Okay, so... Oh my god, the puzzle music! They have the actual Mario puzzle music going right now. Okay, so this diamond has to line up with that diamond. That's simple enough to do, I'd imagine. Uh, although I'm butchering it right now, completely. But okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're not getting there. Okay, I need to actually stop and think about- Well, no, it's fine. Eventually we'll get it. God, I love that they have the actual puzzle music for this. Wait, I need to turn it up a bit, because I can barely hear it. ba na 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 it's kind of a remix of it, though. I love it. I love it. Once again, once again, the music is spot on. It's just nostalgic enough that I can recognize, or rather, it's just recognizable enough that it makes it nostalgic. But like, there we go, we got it. Oh, no, we didn't. It's just recognizable enough that we can... What? My, why, what? My remote died. Okay, that was, that was weird. It's just recognizable enough that it feels nostalgic as shit. But it's just... Wait, can we not access- Okay, so we can't access the other one until we fix this one. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my god, it's just recognizable enough that it feels nostalgic, but it's actually remixed. And it, it sounds, you know, updated and fresh. I love it. I actually really enjoy it. And I don't usually like things that don't just stick to what they originally were. Okay, I'm just randomly pressing buttons while I gave that little rant, so... Let me actually think about this. Goes on side, goes on flat, so that can't be the way. Maybe over yonder, so if I do like this... That's not gonna work either, if I do like this... Nope. So, if I do like so... So, 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 so... So, so, and so. Perfect. See, all I had to do was think about it for a second. Oh, I see. It just fixes itself like that. I thought it would be like a path. There should be another moon somewhere, though. Can't be, like, every... Huh. Oh, you did it. You didn't have to do that, but thank you so much. My pleasure. That can't be the only moon here, though. Successful repair job. That cannot be the only moon here. That would actually really upset me if it is, because so far every single one of these... Every single one of these has had two moons. Every single one of those hat doors has had two moons. So that would actually be really upsetting to me if this one was just one moon. Let me check the, the list. Oh, successful repair. That sucks. Okay, that's actually kind of stupid. I don't understand why that's the case. Um, I guess it wasn't a hidden door. But, like, alright, I guess. Sure. Feels a little... I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Um... So, where was the... So, there was a, a pipe over here as well that we said we needed to, to check out, right? Oh, no, it's not a pipe. It's a pot. Okay. I was planning to grow flowers, but I lost my seed in a spiky tunnel. In a spiky tunnel. Okay, so we need to go find her seed and bring it back. That's gonna be annoying, most likely. Um, but we need to go back into that tunnel anyways, because I suspect we've actually lost something. We forgot, like, we're, we're still missing something there, so... I guess to finish off today's episode, we're gonna be go looking for that. Can I attack this guy? I can, but like... I don't understand why he's even here. He's just here to be cool, I guess. Sure. Um... You guys move. 
Move. There we go. So we missed out on some shit right in here. It would seem. Uh, it would seem we have missed out on some shit here. I'm just gonna spin until they kill themselves by walking into me. That works. Can you go up? Can you go up here? No, you can't. Interesting. So... Air bubble... Oop! I went down. Saw that coming. Air bubble machine. This was... Yeah, this we already got. Doing this as a... Uh, a meek meek... No, what are these things called? Peak peaks? No, I forget. Cheap cheeps. Doing this as a cheap cheap is actually a lot easier. There's a seed. Um... There is the seed, but like... We have this one, right? We have this secret. End of the hidden passage. So I, I guess maybe this isn't the hidden passage. Um, okay. We have to... Grab the seed. Oh, this is gonna be kind of annoying. Because of course we can't grab the seed while we're a fish. So... Why didn't I resupply on oxygen? Uh, there's oxygen over here, right? Go, 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 go! No, go! I said go! Get me a bubble! What the fuck? I died. I died. I died. I died, but it only took one health. Why did it stop making bubbles when I finally reached it? Give me the bubble. Give me the bubble. Oh my god. Give me the fucking bubble. Thank you. God, I hate it when they do shit like that. I think- Oh, okay, so we have to, um... Swerve these guys. Actually, not hard. I thought they would be a lot... More, that would be a lot more challenging than it turned out to be. Um, here we're actually going to toss real quick, grab one of these fish. We can't grab this as a fish, right? Okay. Just wanted to grab a fish so that we could, um, you know, grab this, uh, like, just to rest restock on air before we... Uh, I didn't mean to toss you. There we go. So we wouldn't die, effectively. And then, yeah, we're good to go. So now just find our way back over there. Um, I'm guessing the easiest way is actually through the through up top here. So let's just yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that. Go in through up top. I love the water the the, the yeah, the swimming mechanics in this game. I really, really do. They're very, very reminiscent of original Mario. Alright, here, have some flowers. I was planning to grow flowers, but oh. Okay. Oh, I took a... Interesting. It feels good to make things grow. So now we've got to wait. Yeah. We've got to wait until that grows. So maybe... Oh, it might be down there. It might be down there. Actually, we need to check that place again. It might be down there that there's a second... Um, that there's another, another thing. It wasn't just that toad one. Go, fishy, go. No, I said go. There we go. Down, 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 down. There we go. They could be a little faster, honestly, but like, it's it's fine, I can barely complain. We have unlimited oxygen, which is actually something that's never been in Mario. I Actually, I'm not sure that's true. I can't recall if there was, if Mario's, like, I feel like there's some games where Mario didn't have an oxygen bar. Now, is it is there something we've missed? I don't think it, there is, actually. Can we enter a pipe as the fish? No, we can't, okay. Alright, um... What other clues do you have for us, Parrot? Lake fishing. Interesting. Oh god, okay, so this episode's now ranging the 35 minutes. Um, so we're just going to very quickly, actually, go... Um, I, have, I, ha I suspect I have an inkling as to where one moon might be. So... Really? I have to unlock this door again. Oh, I guess, yeah, sorry, we didn't return the lock lady dress, did we? So there's no reason for me to think that there would be anything else in here now. Okay, never mind. So, actually, never, yeah, never mind. We're just gonna leave it there. In the next episode, guys, we're going to complete this, uh, this map. And it's gonna be dope, and it's gonna be hype, and it's gonna be fun, and all that good stuff. So on that note, thank you so much for watching, as we hang off the edge right here, there we go. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll join us for the next one.